how to use a Logic or GarageBand loop in Logic Express 9. Um, so I have the loop library open, um, but if you go over here, this is the library of the sounds that you can use. Um, the browsers, this one here, they're just tabs, you left click on them. Uh, loop library is right here, left click on that, you can view, show all, um, or or it will also use GarageBand um, because Logic Express 9 communicates with GarageBand. Uh, um, then you can go up here to scale, minor, major, neither, good for both. Um, I just got any marked out, um, signature 4-4. Four, four. Um, it will pick loops that are in 4-4. Four, four. Um, <clears throat> and I'm using a, a track. I just I just muted all of my tracks here uh, so you can see how this is done. Uh, say, if you look to the left here on these, um, you have all all blue squiggly lines those are uh, uh, recorded loops um, so you can you can't mess with the MIDI programming on those the ones with the green note um, those are MIDI loops so if you want to use a MIDI loop uh, I'm just going with a, an acoustic one here let's see we'll go to uh, uh, grooving let's see we can just say all this way it'll give us a, a list of all of the everything so we got a go-go groove and that's going to be MIDI track so I just left click on that and I drag it over it will load it on there now once it's loaded on there it comes up in the piano roll because it is a, uh, a MIDI file um, if it was one of the other ones uh, it would come up as a sound wave. I'll play it real quick. If I want to loop that out in my song, I just come over here and up to the top right corner of it, pull it out. Um, if I just want to stretch it out, I stretch it out like that. Um, <clears throat> and then we'll delete this one. So I left click on it and hit the delete button and then I left click on that and delete that track. Now if I want to do uh, an acoustic bam, if you want to hear what it sounds like you just click on it. And left click on it to stop or you can press the space button space to stop also grab left click on it now if I click on this it's gonna come up down here as a as a wave because it is not a MIDI file um, so you can still loop it left click on the top and pull it out or uh, you can just pull it out this way on the bottom and make it longer uh, I don't think that it will do that with yeah not with the not with this kind of file um, but you can loop that and loop it out as far as you want obviously I have that on so I gotta turn it off the loop now if I want to put another one on there come over here and take acoustic vamp to drag it in there. Now I can put that like this. And then if you watch some of my other videos, I showed you how you can glue them together. And then if I want to take another one, take it, put it right here. And then I just drag it over here. Like that. Alright, and then if I want to glue them all together and make it into one, I hit the glue tool, drag it across there.
and then click again. Now it says no. Non-contiguous audio regions require the creation of a new audio file. So if I hit create, that's going to be a new audio file that will save. Now it's one, that's whole, one whole audio file. And now if I look, that's acoustic vamp to, I didn't save that audio file under any particular name, so it would probably be in my bin right here. That's my new file that I made, so if I want to use it again somewhere down down the line, I can go into my, my bin, and that will be there to use for the future. And that's it.